Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 12th of November, 12th of November for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you're well Gemini. So here are the cards. We have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, Justice, the Chariot and the Star. And I've also pulled two Archangel Oracle cards for further clarification. So I'm going to take these two cards together, Gemini. So let's start with the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords um, is about, it's the card of insomnia and um, being stressed about a situation by being worried. Um, anxiety can be panic attacks, if some of you are having panic attacks. Um, yeah, you're just up all night, um, you know, and it just it just shows a negative state of mind. You see how these swords are all confused and they're pointing in different directions. Um, but the the moon in the distance, do you see the moon? It talks about your intuition and the fact that you have a guide within you. You have your gut instinct and it is telling you to do the right thing. Whatever your gut instinct is telling you now in this situation, Gemini, Believe it, because it's right. And do you see the owl here? So you've got intuition and you've also got wisdom. So you've got the experience, the knowledge, the know-how um, to move on and make it happen, um, make your life better. Um, and you, as I say, you know how to do this, deal with the situation with your gut instinct, with the knowledge within you, the facts within you. You know the facts of this situation which is keeping you up, which is making you stressed, which is making you worried. Um, and it might well be about financial situation. This is a card of um, finance. Um, the pentacles can be about finance. It can also be about the home. You see how this is like a family, a family worrying. And they're so caught up in their own um, negative state, their own preoccupations, worry, that they don't actually see behind them is a church that they can go into and have refuge um, and have a roof over their head. So it is talking about uh, this, this state of mind. Um, the state of mind is ruling the situation at the moment, this negativity. And once you step out of this situation, that mindset, once you change your mindset, once you snap out of it and um, things can be a lot clearer for you but you just have to see the truth of the situation around you that's what the swords are about as well truth and clarity swords are about truth and clarity but this lady is so wound up she's not looking at the swords just like the people here are not looking at the the church next to them that, that they can go and take refuge in um and the swords, as I say, the, the swords represent the truth of the situation and the clarity, the clarity of the path that you need to take. And if you use your intuition and your knowledge, um, you'll make a wise decision to move forward from this mindset. But you have to choose to change your mindset and change the situation physically that you're in at the moment for some of you. Um, and this is this is hard. I mean, it is hard. This talks about um, stability is on offer to you, emotional stability is on offer to you, but this person just isn't seeing it properly. And the idea is that you. This can be about boredom. This can be about despondency. This can be about giving up. Um, but you see, the universe, the divine hand, is offering. Um, an opportunity is offering emotional security is offering fulfillment to this person and all the person needs to do is look up and see it and not be so caught in the negative state of mind so the universe is behind you this week Gemini to push you forward um, yeah to to start moving forward um, in your own mind you know get that mental clarity get that mental strength um, and also physically move you forward to new opportunities, new realms, new possibilities, to open your mind again. This is a closed mind. The swords represent the mind as well, and this is a closed mind. Um, this is being caught up in negativity, feeling unstable. As I say, it could be to do with finances for some of you, um, needing more financial abundance. 
Um, but there are opportunities around you and you just have to be aware and raise that awareness to and open your mind to opportunities now. And even though it's difficult, I understand it's difficult to be strong in, in negative situations sometimes, especially, you know, when the emotions are so heightened. Um, but justice is on your side. Um, this this talks about justice being on your side. The 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 sword of truth is on your side. And this is about clarifying your path. You see how justice, I mean justice is also a sign of victory as well, but it's almost like a karmic kind of victory in the sense that um leave this negative situation to justice now because I just feel that there's a there's a karmic um gift from the universe and and justice is on your side so any negativity leave to the universe to deal with because i can guarantee that if people have been negative towards you um justice will deal with 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 your actions but also people's actions that affect you so everybody comes up against justice and um, it's as I say, this, this lady is blind because she doesn't really care about the people. She cares about people's actions and you're judged as others. Um, you treat other people as you, you would expect to be treated yourself. Um, and, yeah, this is the path so far. This is getting to a path of, of you know, moving forward. And, as I say, justice, the right, um, yeah, the truth and justice is on your side now. Um, so maybe in, if this involves legal contracts, it might be to do with money, might be to do with a home, for example, um, legal contracts, legal disputes. Um, this is a really positive card for you. Um, and as I say, I mean, it is a sign of victory as well. And this is a stage in your life, maybe um, the journey so far, This you see the steps going up. At this point, um, you know, justice is stepping in and dealing with the situation in terms of how you've acted um, in response to this situation, but also how others have acted towards you. So let go, let go of this now. That's what justice is saying, let go, um, because justice will take care of other people. So let go of this situation and focus. This is a card of focus now. Focus on your opportunities um, moving forward. And if you do, and if you do let go and release from negativity and change that mindset, this is the chariot. Now, the chariot is a really interesting card in the sense that there's a journey going forwards, but there's also a journey that's gone before. And the chariot's had to push past obstacles, difficulties, negativities, negative people, difficult situations to charge forward. But this is your energy now, Gemini. It's move forward with clarity, with passion, and with conviction, with balance. And I just think it's quite nice that we talk about balance with the justice being here now, finding a better balance in your life um, to move forward. So you see the yin and yang, the silver and the gold. Um, sometimes it's black and white. But it just talks about the fact that you need to achieve this balance now um, maybe between your mind and your physical world, um, as, as in here, you need to deal with the facts of the situation physically, but you also need to change that mindset to push forward and achieve your goal. This is a goal orientated card. This is a sign of victory. And it's a sign of, of positive victory because it's next to justice. It's truth and righteousness. So yeah, this is a real victory card for you, but you just need to snap out of this situation and look for opportunities again. Look for opportunities around you. And it might well be if some of you are having difficulty at work, um, looking for a new job, might be an opportunity, um, or a new um, business venture or career or partnership. And, and as I say in the home, it is about assessing um, maybe people who might be negative to you, maybe wider friendships or um, 
acquaintances, could be people in the workplace, people in the home, and, and just judging what you take forward now with you, because this is the path so far, and it's who you take forward after that path. And once you make those decisions and have clarity in your life, you can move forward with a real purpose, with a goal. And the star, the star is about um, finding your purpose in life again. This is about healing, healing after a difficult time. This is about purpose. You know, make no uh, assumptions. Yes, this is about healing, this is about guidance, this is about universal blessing, absolutely. But this is, re this is absolutely about um, finding your purpose as well in life, finding your self-purpose, finding yourself. You see the, the cups, um, you see these cups, it, I find it interesting that the cups here are just not acknowledged, you know, and um, they're not fulfilling this person in this card, even though they're being offered to him, he's not fulfilled, he's not content. And yet in this situation, you're so fulfilled that you're pouring cups out onto the lake and to the earth. Um, to fertilise and grow this new venture, this new idea, and you know that you've got plenty of supplies to refill your cups should you need them. So this is about um, finding your purpose from within. Yeah, from within and focusing on that. And the universe is guiding you in this, in this um, card as well, uh, Gemini. There's real universal guidance in this and blessings. Um, but yeah, you have to do the work and find, you know, find your inner strength, find who you are again. Um, if you felt lost, if you don't feel that you are the person that you were, which is can be this card. Um, yeah, you find your purpose again and your goal. And this is wish fulfillment, but it's not wish fulfillment that's necessarily engineered by you. It, this is wish fulfillment from a divine, from the universe. And this is divine rewards as well. And this talks about real positive um, growth, can be mental growth, physical growth, emotional growth, spiritual growth, after a time of difficulty. But it was meant to happen. This is a time to heal and move forward with purpose now. So I love these energies, Gemini, they're really positive. And the first Archangel Oracle card is All is Well. Archangel Jeremiah, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings you will soon understand. All is Well, Archangel Jeremiah, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings you will soon understand. Hidden blessings, wish fulfillment. Life Review, Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So this is Archangel Jeremiah, again two Archangel Jeremiah cards, that's interesting. Maybe if, if for some of you who believe in angels, maybe you should be asking Archangel Jeremiah for guidance this week. So Life Review, Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. And that's beautiful. Anything that's unbalanced, find balance. Find balance. Move forward. Make changes to this situation. So I hope you enjoy the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. Um, I also have the monthly readings out now, so if you haven't checked those out already, do check those out for yourself, and I will see you next time. Thank you.